Mine was way bigger. Was, was way bigger than yeah. yours, probably like twice the size. Hello folks, welcome back to vlog number six now. I think so, yeah. I'm really bad at math, so. <laughs> another vlog, we'll call it another vlog. Uh, it's a really, really exciting time of year to be fishing the rivers in Derbyshire because we are bang in the middle of an absolutely fantastic mayfly hatch, aren't we? We are, we have flies are surrounding us everywhere. For those who don't know, we, for about two or three weeks of the year in the UK, we get a, a hatch of a fly called the mayfly, and it's far, far bigger than all the other bugs we have in the UK. It's much bigger. We'll, we'll definitely be able to show you a good few of those today. We get to target them on much larger flies. Uh, and the, <laughs> we've got some there. Yeah, we've got some with her. Um, the fish really lose their minds for a couple of weeks, um, and they really hit these mayflies hard. What do you reckon? Should we waffle or should we wade? No, I think we need to put the waders on and go fishing. Let's go and find some fish. It's mayfly season. It's happening. Let's do it. So that was a bit of a shame. IB almost always catches one early on in the session. She's just got the knack for it. Unfortunately, this time she found a fish rising. She just pulled the hook on him a little bit too soon. It's relatively quiet. We're in a bit of a flux period here in between the main hatch, which is pretty much finished, and the spinner fall, which is about to start. We're surrounded by thousands of mayfly spinners, but at the moment, activity is quite quiet. So I think we'll probably switch over to the dry and dropper and just see if we can catch a few on a larger mayfly nymph. Well, sometimes it pays to come with a particularly eagle-eyed fishing partner and um, I was fishing for a fish further upstream and you ever spotted a very subtle rise against the far back. I, I had no idea that fish was there, that was totally down to IB. Um, covered it once with the spinner and absolutely perfect, beautiful wild brownie. Absolutely stunning fish. Really, really pleased with this one. It's very lively, he might kick a little bit. Gorgeous fish. As I say, wild fish, so we want to get him back to where he should be.
many things make me run in life. I could say it's a bottle of wine, trout, and sometimes I do. <laughs> it feels so good as well. <laughs> That feels really good. I was trying and trying and trying and trying and trying and casting at this fish, but I couldn't get it all to land straight. And it kept going into a little puddle, so obviously it never rose the fish. And then we lengthened, uh, we lengthened, length, lengthened. You can cut this bit, can't you? We lengthened. Length, lengthened, lengthened. 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 Yeah. So we lengthened the tippet, and the cast just unrolled beautifully and I think it was the second cast that I made the fish and just took it. It's not as big as we thought but it's my dry fly PB on the dump and it is a very very pretty fish but I will try and show it to you. It is a gorgeous gorgeous fish. Missed a couple, missed a little one, missed a big one. Mostly missing. Yep. We'll start putting trout face on the milk carton, car carton <laughs> things. Hey, we're one each for the day so far, missus. We are, aren't we? Mine was bigger though. <laughs> yeah, right. Mine was bigger. Yeah. Mine was way bigger. It was, was way bigger than yeah. yours, probably like twice the size. <laughs> super exciting that kind of fish is right up my street really close quarters really strange lie in behind some weeds big boil very odd i'd be advised to fly change and once again tonight i owe one to yeva because actually yeva's fly change worked he wouldn't take the spinner but he would take a dun which is weird because there are no duns on the water it's an absolute stunner of a fish 15 16 inches maybe Look at the colour of that, it's bright orange, so pretty. You can't not be proud of a fish like that. Wild as the hills. So last light, thought it was worth just one last cast. Found a fish rising fairly regularly and was fortunate enough to slip the net under this guy. Last minute, he's super lively. I'm a bit worried he's gonna kick and hurt himself and I really don't want that. 
There we go, buddy. That's a nice fish. Loads of energy. And I think that's probably going to have to do for tonight. We've got... Well, the light's nearly gone now. We've given it a pretty good go. We've missed plenty. We've lost a few, but all in all, we've had a pretty good evening's fishing there for an after work session. I think we'll take that one. Brilliant Mayfly time. Um, we'll catch you guys back at the car and IB is going to tell you exactly how today's gone. Well, that was a fun evening in the end. Really difficult first hour or so. We got there in the period where the duns had stopped hatching and the spinners weren't falling. There was very little actually on the water when we first got here, but when those spinners started dropping, geez, didn't it happen? There were fish rising everywhere, everywhere, which was really confusing because you're casting to one fish, you're getting distracted by the fish next to you, but it was good. Yeah, it was really, really fun. Great to target individual fish. Um, some really nice ones as well. It, We've caught four very beautiful wild fish there and we've probably, well, we missed another four or five between <laughs> us, haven't we? Probably me alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're a little bit rusty, but for what was essentially there, if you take out the first hour, which was just very, very quiet, that was three hours fishing. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. at no point have we not been casting at rising fish, so you can't ask for any more than that, I don't think. No, no. What we can ask is that you people who've watched the video, please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, because we'll be doing more stuff. Hopefully some more lure fishing soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're anticipating at some point this good weather is going to have to end. And if we start getting some nice low pressures, we'll look at doing some summer pike fishing. Maybe it, even on the fly. Yeah, Talk yeah, about yeah, lure fishing, yeah, lure absolutely, fishing. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be doing something. We're doing something. Whatever it is, we'd really like to share it with you. So please subscribe to the channel. Um, there'll be more stuff. There'll be more reviews. And in the meantime, enjoy what you're doing. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.